Good morning, Coronado. Today's Monday, September 18th. I'm Josh. And I'm Joshua. And this is Channel 6 News. It's Homecoming Spirit Week. Great to see everyone in their favorite PJs. Be sure to wear beach gear tomorrow for Tropical Tuesday. You can get your homecoming tickets in the quad at both lunches. Cougars for Change will be meeting today in the library at 1.15. We will be doing a photo scavenger hunt around the school. Bring a friend and come and be a part of the change. Attention all Cougars interested in law, argument, and or winning. Come join Coronado's mock trial team. We meet Thursdays after school in Portable 16. See Mr. Cook with any questions. Now over to Joshua for more news. Panda Express on St. Rose Park Ray is hosting a fundraiser for track and field tomorrow. Bring the whole family for some delicious food while helping our track team. We are hosting three games today, so it's the perfect time to stay late and support. We have tennis against Shadow Ridge at three, and then we have women's volleyball and men's soccer, both undefeated. Women's soccer has JV at five and varsity at six against Centennial, and men's soccer takes on Las Vegas High School, JV at five and varsity at 6.30. See you there. It's Suicide Prevention Month, and Hope Squad has all the info on how to help. Hey Cougars, my name is Evan Pazak, and I'm a part of the Coronado Hope Squad. We wanted to let you know how important it is that we talk about Suicide Prevention Month, which is this September and every September. So, to let you know how serious of a topic suicide is, in 2020, 603, 603 people died from suicide, and suicide is the second largest leading cause of death in Nevada from people ages 10 to 34. However, we can absolutely change this. It's important to know that some of the warning signs of suicide are certain things such as saying goodbye online or in person, talking about suicide or about self-harm, giving away personal possessions or changes in behavior like eating and sleeping. Those are all signs of suicide or self-harm or potential signs of suicide and self-harm. It's important that you know those. And if you know or if you think someone that you know is considering suicide or self-harm, it's a great idea to go up to them and to talk to them. And it's not a bad thing to mention the topic of suicide. It's a, common, it's a common idea that if you mention the idea of suicide, it'll put it in their head, but that's not true. It's much better to bring it up and to talk about it than to just totally forget about it. So go up to them, talk with them, try to be there for them, be a good friend. And the best thing you can do is try to refer them to professional help from people like our social worker, Ms. Chura or other people around school, trusted adults, teachers, counselors. And although I forgot to mention it in the video, two other great resources are the 988 Suicide Prevention Hotline, as well as the app and website, Safe Voice. They're both great resources. It's very important that you do this, and we want you to remember our acronym, which is ACT, ACT. And it stands for Ask, Convince, Tell. And in the event that your friend doesn't want to see help or doesn't want to get help from a trusted adult, it is still best that you tell them, even if that friend said to keep their information secret. Remember, it's better to lose a friend than to lose somebody's life. If you're feeling depressed, if you're having thoughts of self-harm or of suicide, we encourage you to go get help or to talk to a trusted friend, talk to a trusted adult, talk to our school counselors and social workers, and we can absolutely get help that you need. So we want to remind you guys of this. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day, Cougars. Samurai Sam's and teriyaki bowls are for sale during both lunches. And that's all for today, Coronado. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at CHS Channel 6. Have a marsupial Monday. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Boom. Done.